thin milky haze still covers Boston skyline, but the air quality has improved compared to yesterday when smoke from wildfires in the western part of the country settled in our area. It was a little kind of scary to come out and see the haze and it was difficult to see the city. Good boy. Quinn Eigenberg kept her walks with her four month old husky Miso short. I did kind of keep him inside a little bit more than I would have normally. So I was a little bit concerned. Yeah, you could kind of smell smoke in the air. Try and keep it to maybe half hour. Um, don't go out for like hours on end. That is the advice from the Animal Rescue League of Boston, and it applies especially to certain types of dogs. Um, you want to pay attention, especially to your dogs that have brachycephalica. So it's those dogs that have the smushed faces. So anything like a pug or a Boston Terrier, their respiratory systems are more compressed. You don't want them to be, most animals, you don't want them to be outside for extended amounts of time. And watch for these signs. You just want to keep an eye out for any sort of collapsing, any sort of difficulty breathing, heavy, really labored panting um, are some of the big signs to look out for. You can just bring them inside and let them recover and like monitor for a little bit and see. Um, you can definitely keep an eye on it, but use your best judgment. And if you feel your animal needs to go to the hospital, definitely bring them to the hospital. The Animal Rescue League also advises you to limit your pet's time outside in the heat. They suggest hiding treats around your house to keep your pet active inside. In East Boston, Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.